Guten Morgen, everybody. It's six in the morning. I am heading to Tatton Park in Manchester for the Happy Place Festival with Fern Cotton today. And oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm going to take you guys with me. I made it. Tatton Park, here we are. All the way from Bonnie, Scotland, here in Manchester at the Happy Place Festival 2019. The time is 8.08. .08. I am approximately two hours early, <laughs> which is very unlike me, but I'm super excited to be here. Realised that I've never been to Manchester before, so this is my first time. First time for everything. And at the moment, I don't seem to be able to see much going on. I'm just having a little wander around. Oh, look, there's the sign I need. Happy Place Festival, this way. Off we go. Oh my God. I have been a super fan of Fern Cotton for quite some time. Yesterday, I was listening to last week's episode of the Happy Place podcast with Fern Cotton interviewing Reggie Yates. And he was explaining about his beginnings of work in the entertainment industry and then moving into documentaries to use his voice to raise awareness and make a difference and I just thought that was amazing and so inspiring and I love all the work that Fern Cotton does in the health and wellness industry. I kind of just feel like Fern Cotton's been one of those like mother figures in a way. For those of you that have been following my YouTube journey, you'll know that I lost my mum in 2015 and I feel like Fern Cotton has been one of those people that sort of filled a bit of a gap and she's inspired me to start my own podcast. I love everything that she shares and all of the awareness that she raises in the health and wellness industry. This Happy Place Festival is actually sponsored by Mind, the charity who do amazing work, and also Rituals Cosmetics, and I'm a big fan of Rituals. My sister introduced them to me. I love their motto. Some of my favorites are the Ayurveda dry oil for hair and skin. It smells like almonds. Oh baby, it is delightful. And also their pillow spray is a lovely one. Hopefully we'll be checking out some more rituals goodies today. And just can't wait to be a part of all the classes, all the talks, the live podcasts. So yeah, super excited to be here. Obviously got plenty of time to kill, but I'm gonna do some emails, check everything out, maybe grab some coffee, and let's see where the day takes us. And we're in over here. That little truck there is the Boobmobile with Copper Feel. Really impressed by that, encouraging women to check their boobs. So many exciting things everywhere. Oh my gosh. London is a bit of a moment for me to make changes, mainly if I'm honest because of the talk today. <laughs> Last time I interviewed Megan Jane Crabb in London, that had a profound effect on me. She talked so much sense and I could see that it was hitting home with every female in that room. Some of the guys too, but more specifically women and it had that effect on me and it was again another period of change that I was really grateful of. I hope to think that I'll have the same brilliant talks this weekend because I I think I've got the most solace over the years or advice from listening, from just listening to people's stories and storytelling and knowing about other people's lives because we get so bogged down with like our story, our life, our problems, our things and we just sort of either assume everyone else is okay or we just don't really think about it. But sitting and listening to all those great people like Megan and Reggie and Annie Price and just all these amazing people. Russell was just, you know, quite remarkable. So I hope to use this weekend in the same way as you. And um, 
I wish you a lot of luck. That was so amazing to be able to meet Fern Cotton. There's a class, a huge class going on in the background here. I'm hoping to join in one shortly, but I'm gonna go and wander around and probably grab some breakfast. going on in the background. There's been some amazing talks that we've had, two live podcasts that they did. I wanted to just hop on here and I'm gonna put in some tummy time actually so we can get a better angle. And actually, um, this reminds me of what Celeste Pereira, if you don't follow Celeste Pereira, um, go and follow her now because she is a sensational yoga teacher. She was talking the other day about how when we lie on our tummies like this, we put babies on their tummies and give them tummy time because that's important for them developing strength in their back chain of the body. But then for some reason, when we develop into adults, we forget that we need that same tummy time to develop strength in our back body, which undoes a lot of this rounding through the shoulders that we have from driving, from being on our phones, from being at a desk. So having more tummy time and engaging your, your back chain body muscles is really important. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys, because I know you're dying to see, the Happy Place Festival VIP goodie bag sponsored by Ritual. So we've shown you what's in this beauty. Also bought a couple of pairs of leggings from Sweaty Betty. I didn't have any Sweaty Betty leggings until today, but hearing Fern rave on about how good Sweaty Betty are, so I've taken the plunge. And for anyone else that's a yoga teacher, you get 30% discount. You just have to take your certificate in and prove that you're a teacher. So that's pretty handy. Other things that I have done today, I listened to the interview with Holly Tucker. She is the creator of NotOnTheHighStreet.com. Phenomenal speech that she gave about seizing the moment and anyone being able to start a business but actually just believing in yourself. And similar thing that we do with kids, we congratulate kids and tell them how good they are for painting a picture that's supposed to be you and that sort of stuff. But when we're adults, we forget to congratulate ourselves and you know just say how goddamn amazing we are and we need that self-belief to be able to achieve our dreams and help other people and pursue a business with purpose and passion so loved that talk that Holly Tucker was giving that was followed by Lauren Mahon who is a breast cancer survivor and same thing again oh my god what a gem she had some great nuggets of information to share about her experience and she was kind of saying and this really resonated with me she was kind of saying how sad it is that it took breast cancer for her to realize that yes life is short but life is also long as well so you know you want to enjoy it and you want to do things that you love so she was spreading her positive message so that other people don't have to have that realization i thought the same thing you know after i lost my mum to cancer it was then that i had this realization but how sad that it almost has to come to that for you to have that realization so really important for people to just be talking more openly about how cancer affects not only you but all the people around you and yeah to make more of life and do the things that you love spread positivity and joy and be kind to other people because you never know what they're going through I was really looking forward to the interview with Russell Brand but he cancelled so that was a shame although I just met Kat 
the creator of yogi.bear. What a lovely human she is. Kat is absolutely amazing. Again, if you don't follow yogi.bear, Bear, go and follow Kat because she is so lovely. I had said to her that it was a shame that we missed the chat with Russell Brand, but she said, you know, the universe always listens and perhaps we weren't ready to hear what he had to share. So yeah, I really do believe in the universe in that way. And I hope Russell is okay if he wasn't able to make it. I'm going to enjoy some acro yoga soon and I can see some people in some acro yoga. So that's very exciting. But without further ado, I think I should get round to showing you what's in this goodie bag, hey. We have some Rude Health granola, strawberry and raspberry. Yum, diddly, umptious. We also have, I'm acting like I haven't opened this already, I definitely have, a birch box. And I've seen these online as well. Inside this, what? Loads of goodies. Spread your wings. In there we've got Rituals, Soothing Hand Balm, la 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 love. Nourishing Mascara by Beautyanio Beauty. Lottie London Blush Crush, cute. What have we here? Creme Solaire Visage Face Sun Cream, very important. Oh, that smells delicious. Back to 50, digging that. Do you know what? As I am nearing 30, I definitely have been wearing sunscreen on my face every day and rituals were giving out these other little tester sun creams. When I was younger, I was typical, you know, I'd go to the beach, always bothered about getting a tan, but it's really not good for your skin. It promotes more wrinkles, damages the skin. I watched a program about it where there was a female bus driver and one half of her face had literally aged 10 years more than the other half because of her driving this bus and the sun damage. But anyway, we shall continue. Other goodies in here are the Ritual of Karma Shower Foam Full of Kindness. Yeah, so excited to use this. I once have had one of their shower gels before from Rituals. My sister bought it for me for my birthday, but the pump got stuck, like the gas ran out. So, hey, the world has provided one now. <laughs> Rude Health Almond Drink Rescue Plus. Oh, same make as like Rescue Remedy. Throat lozenges looking after our health. More Rude Health granola bars. Nine Good Seeds bar. That looks fab. Oh, it's got a little bit of chalky covering on. I'm not sure if that one's vegan, is it? Yeah, it says soya. I've already eaten this. So much delicious food here, by the way. There's so much vegan food. I had a vegan hoisin duck wrap, which was sensational because it tastes like actual duck. Oh, it was amazing. I ate this flapjack earlier as well by Brian Moore. Maybe I'm not saying that right. What else have we in here? Some really cute little things. Discount from Sweaty Betty. Tea pigs, cold brew, cucumber and apple tea. That's exciting. Looking forward to that. Um, we have a bamboo straw by Lacto Free. And this is very cute. Happy Place by Betsy Falco at arrows.garden. And she is a freelance illustrator. So if anyone's needing some illustration work, that's so cute. And it's got Mind on there for Better Health, the charity that it's sponsored by, and also Prince's Trust. Very lovely. Oh, look. This was that other little SPF Rituals sun cream that they were handing out. Oh, and Happy Place by Paper Chase. Paper Chase, the stall, was doing some oh, really cute things. Everybody was writing like letters of intention and pinning them to the wall. And that was so lovely to see. But anyway, I don't want to bang on for too much longer because this is getting rather long now. So I hope you're all well and you've had a lovely weekend. As you can tell, it's been a sensational weekend here at the Happy Place Festival. Fern Cotton said that they are hosting it again next year. And fingers crossed, Kat said that she'd put me in touch with whoever is organizing this because I would really, really love to teach at this festival next year. So fingers crossed for that. And if you're wanting to come to the Happy Place next year as well, do, you won't regret it. There's so much going on. Honestly, wherever this yoga journey has taken me, the people that I meet are always so kind and empathetic and just high, high vibrational conscious beings, which really, really feels great. Okay, 
I hope you have a lovely day and I'm not really sure how I'm going to close this vlog. might close it here. If something else happens in the day, I'll put it in as well. But if it does close here, I will love you and leave you. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. And skillfully move in such a way that cultivates more of four things and in the yoga sutras which is kind of yogi's bible in sutra 1.33 he suggests patanjali suggests four things to cultivate in practice and the first one is non-judgmental awareness the second one is friendliness the third is compassion and the fourth is happiness